Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss about the parts of sleep lamp and their functions so i am going to show you each part in detail and the function as much as i can so let's get into it so this is a standard slit lamp and you can see all the parts in it let's start from the turning on the slit lamp you see this round button as you rotate it it turns on and the further the more you rotate it the brightness increases now the one on the left that is the background light now if you can see it in the image here that is the background light that further illuminates the eye and the surrounding structures in order to see better These are the eye pieces you can see. Then this system is called the observer system as you see through this. So this one is called the observer system. So these two eye pieces you adjust it according to your refractive error. If there's any refractive error in your eyes, you can see there are positive and negative on this. So you can adjust according to your error any refractive error that you have. But if you do not have any refractive error, you simply adjust it at zero. So you can see I adjusted here at zero, and then you can also remove or further like a space apart the two IPs depending on your interpapillary distance. So like I said, there are three parts to slit lamp. This one, the one I'm holding right now, is illumination system, as it this one illuminates, and this one is the observer system. Since from here we see, and from here and here the patient places his forehead and chin so this one is called forehead rest and you see this line this is where the the lateral canthus of the patient should be adjusted so that you can see it properly if the lateral canthus of the eye is low up below or above this line then you will have problem difficulty in seeing all the parts this one is for the slit height control so you can see there are various measurements in it and you can decrease or increase your slit height these are the various filters and okay you can see you can use it to diagnose various diseases according to your your provisional diagnosis or whatever you have you can change the slit the, the uh, filter so this one is called the slit width you can increase or decrease the slit width it's also on the other side you can use any one of these Now usually you see the ophthalmologist he creates a slit uh, he bas slit is basically you direct you change the direction of the light onto the cornea and the patient iris the pupil the fundi so in order to diagnose various diseases so this was to diagnose a slit this is the various magnifications in the slit lamp they are present on both sides 6.3 10 16 40 This is another option it's an in and out filter it basically changes a bit of the contrast in your view and you can use it according to your own will this is the light a target you can give it to the patient to look when you're examining the eye so the patient will look at this object this this thing while you're examining you can set it at various levels in order to bring the slit lamp above and down you this is the button it can go upwards and down depending on if the patient is a kid a little child then you need to lower it so you can sit comfortably and if it's an adult then you can increase the height you can go move it upwards we had to switch the slit lamp and since in the previous one there was no goldman ablation tonometer so we went to another slit lamp so this one this device is called the goldman ablation tonometer it is used to check the intraocular pressure of the eye this little device you actually first of all you stain the eye you uh, you give local anesthetic to the patients in, in the form of topical eye drops then you stain the eye and then you bring this device close to their eye you have to, you have to touch it to create a small a little bit you have to flatten the cornea a little bit slightly and then once you touch it to the cornea this is the reading you have to adjust it to the two semi semicircular 
lines actually just meet each other and then when the two semi the half semicircular lines when they meet each other you have to check your reading from here and one is equal to 10 two reading is equal to 20 and so on millimeter per mercury so this will tell you the intraocular pressure this is again the light the target you can give it to the patient And so this is all for it folks.